Well, I'm actually going to get her and work on this puppy after running around all week. But right there is what I got to do. I don't know if you, you can barely see the mark right there. That's where that cam gear is hitting. So I got to grind from there up off. And uh, get the timing gear and chain on. Make sure the chain, when it's on, uh, meshed with the teeth, it ain't rubbing too. So I got to plug them holes, cover the cam up, cover the crank up. Get with the lifter valley up, the cylinders up, so no metal shavings will fly up in there. Once I get that ground down, like I say, get the cam gear timing set on it. I'm in the market looking for a 86 and newer, older stamp timing cover because the one that was on this was plastic, had that crankshaft sensor in it. Had that little reluctor down here for the crankshaft, you know, so it set off the timing. And like I say, get that 86 and older. Time and cover, time and set gasket, complete gasket set. But so I got to plug them holes off, cover the crank, cam, cylinders, lift the valley. So I don't get metal shavings everywhere. Shouldn't be much, but still. Got my oil pump on it. Had the wrong bolt at first. So, you know, this got two different size bolts to go to this. And this, it goes straight through to the bottom of the rear main bearing. So you can't have it too long. I just snugged it up. And it left some marks on the bearing. But I didn't press it. You know, I just saw it was bottoming out, took it out, found the bolt I needed after I cut one off. That's in there good. I hope it don't fall off. It wasn't spot welded on the old pump. I ain't spotting it on this and I might tap it a few more times. But Six and seven eighths from here to the oil pan rail. And it gives me a quarter inch where sludge can build up for it. Kills off the pickup, locks the motor up. Got to get the oil filter adapter. Gasket set. Just got the rear main seal sitting there right now. Get the gasket set. Get the timing cover on it. Uh, get the lifters in after I get all this done. I can go ahead and put the lifters. Soak them. Put the lifters in. Put the dog bones on them. Spider to hold them down. Then I can start taking the heads off that one. But, uh, once I get all the short block done, I'm going to go ahead and Cover the cylinders, lifter valley, and paint it. That should be on it by the end, hopefully. And I think I can use a factory fuel pump push rod. I'm going to call melon back because this is a roller can. They say you usually got to get a different fuel pump push rod and a different gear on your distributor. But I think this cam set up to take a factory cam uh, distributor gear and a factory fuel pump push rod. I called them before. That's a couple months ago. I'm going to call and double check. So if that's all I got to do, all I got to get is push rod and rocker arms and gaskets. Time and cover. And the heads and intake carburetor, this thing be going in the motor. I'm going to paint her up. Try to pretty it up a little bit. But let's see about getting this uh, oil plug galley ground down a little bit. Get the timing set on it, chain on it, make sure there's no more interference. And, Short block, just about be done. First of the month, I should be able to get everything rolled back together and ready to go back in, hopefully. But we'll see. Well, thank you, Lord. God bless.